welcome to CPCS, CSCS, 2020, 2021, questions and answers. The latest questions and answers for CITV health and safety test. Question 1. You are in a deep trench. A lorry backs up to the trench and the engine is left running. What should you do? Give one answer. A. Get out of the trench quickly. B. Ignore the problem, as the lorry will soon drive away. C. Put on ear defenders to cut out the engine noise. D. See if there is a toxic gas meter in the trench. The correct answer is A. Get out of the trench quickly. Question 2. What should you do if you see the side supports move when you are working in an excavation? Give one answer. A. Keep working and watch to see if they move again. B. Make sure that you and other workers get out quickly. C. Nothing. The sides are expected to move all the time. D. Work in another part of the excavation instead. The correct answer is B. Make sure that you and other workers get out quickly. Question 3. What is the main hazard when working in an excavation? Give one answer. A. Breathing in hazardous dust from the earth. B. Crushing, if the sides are not supported. C. Cuts and abrasions from the trench sides. D. Trips and falls due to the space restriction. The correct answer is B. Crushing, if the sides are not supported. Question 4. When should an excavation be battered back or stepped? Give one answer. A. If any buried services cross the excavation. B. If it is more than 5 m deep. C. If there is a risk of the sides falling in, regardless of depth. D. If there is water in the bottom of the trench. The correct answer is C. If there is a risk of the sides falling in, regardless of depth. Question 5. What do guardrails around the top of an excavation prevent? Give one answer. A. People falling into the trench and being injured. B. Rainwater running off the ground at the top and into the trench. C. The sides of the trench collapsing. D. Toxic gases collecting in the bottom of the trench. The correct answer is A. People falling into the trench and being injured. Question 6. What equipment should be used when digging near to underground electrical services? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 7. What is the safest way to get into and out of a deep excavation? Give one answer. A. Use a fixed staircase. B. Use an excavator bucket. C. Use the buried services as steps. D. Use the shoring or trench supports. The correct answer is A. Use a fixed staircase. Question 8. What does it mean if a run of colored marker tape is found when digging? Give one answer. A. The excavation now requires side supports. B. The soil is contaminated and you must wear respiratory protective equipment, RPE. C. There are buried human remains and you must tell your supervisor. D. There is a buried service and further excavation must be carried out with care. The correct answer is D. There is a buried service and further excavation must be carried out with care. Question 9. According to the guidance on underground service pipes, what does a yellow service pipe carry? Give one answer. A. Electricity. B. Gas. C. Telecoms. D. Water. 
The correct answer is B. Guess. Question 10. What three things should you do before entering a confined space that has sludge at the bottom? Give three answers. A. Have the correct training. B. Identify what the sludge is. C. Make sure that the space has been tested for gas. D. Put on a disposable dust mask. E. Throw something into the sludge to see how deep it is. The correct answer is A, B, and C. A. Have the correct training. B. Identify what the sludge is. C. Make sure that the space has been tested for gas. Question 11. What should you do if your permit to work in a confined space will run out before you finish the task you are carrying out? Give one answer. A. Ask your supervisor to change the date on the permit. B. Carry on working until the job is finished. C. Hand the permit over to the next shift. D. Leave the confined space before the permit runs out. The correct answer is D. Leave the confined space before the permit runs out. Question 12. What should you do if you are in a deep trench and you start to feel dizzy? Give one answer. A. Carry on working and hope that the feeling will go away. B. Get out, let your head clear and then go back in again. C. Make sure that you and any others get out quickly and report it. D. Sit down in the trench and take a rest. The correct answer is C. Make sure that you and any others get out quickly and report it. Question 13. Why is methane gas dangerous in confined spaces? Give two answers. A. It can explode. B. It makes you dehydrated. C. It makes you hyperactive. D. You may not have enough oxygen to breathe. E. You will not be able to see because of the dense fumes. The correct answer is A and D. A. It can explode. D. You may not have enough oxygen to breathe. Question 14. What is the most important reason why people should be trained and competent before they are allowed to enter a confined space? Give one answer. A. Confined space entrants need to understand the potential hazards. B. Confined spaces always contain flammable or explosive gases. C. Confined spaces are only found on house building sites. D. Confined spaces never contain breathable air. The correct answer is A. Confined space entrants need to understand the potential hazards. Question 15. What is the main reason for having a person positioned immediately outside a confined space while work is taking place inside it? Give one answer. A. To carry out a risk assessment for the work. B. To check compliance with the method statement. C. To start the rescue plan if there is an emergency. D. To supervise the work inside the confined space. The correct answer is C. To start the rescue plan if there is an emergency. Question 16. What is the main cause of people dying while working in a confined space? Give one answer. A. Cold conditions leading to hypothermia. B. Lack of oxygen. C. Presence of methane. D. Too much oxygen. The correct answer is B. Lack of oxygen. Question 17. What might happen if the level of oxygen drops below 8% in a confined space? Give one answer. A there is a high risk of fire or explosion. B. You could become unconscious. C. You might get dehydrated. D. 
your hearing could be affected? The correct answer is B. You could become unconscious. Question 18. When working in a confined space, what is it a sign of if there is a smell of rotten eggs? Give one answer. A. Carbon dioxide. B. Hydrogen sulfide. C. Methane. D. Oxygen. The correct answer is B. Hydrogen sulfide. Question 19. What is it likely to mean if the soil gives off a strange smell when digging? Give one answer. A. The ground could be contaminated. B. The ground has been used to grow crops in the past. C. The soil contains a lot of clay. D. The soil has been excavated before. The correct answer is A. The ground could be contaminated. Question 20. What is the best course of action to take if a buried cable is hit and damaged when digging? Give one answer. A. Dig around the cable or dig somewhere else. B. Do not touch the cable, stop work, and report it. C. Move the cable out of the way and carry on digging. D. Wait 10 seconds and then move the cable out of the way. The correct answer is B. Do not touch the cable, stop work, and report it. Question 21. What must happen before each shift starts when working in an excavation? Give one answer. A. A competent person must inspect the excavation. B. A supervisor should stay in the excavation for the first hour. C. A supervisor should watch from the top for the first hour. D. Someone must go in and sniff the air to see if it is safe. The correct answer is A. A competent person must inspect the excavation. Question 22. What should you do if you have to work in a confined space but there is no rescue plan? Give one answer. A. Assume that a rescue team or plan is not necessary and do the job. B. Carry out the job in short spells. C. Do not enter until a rescue plan is in place. D. Get someone to stand at the opening with a rope. The correct answer is C. Do not enter until a rescue plan is in place. Question 23. Work in a confined space usually needs a risk assessment, a method statement and what other safety document? Give one answer. A. A company health and safety policy. B. A permit to enter. C. A written contract for the work. D. An up-to-date staff handbook. The correct answer is B. A permit to enter. Question 24. At what point should excavations be inspected? Give one answer. A. At the beginning and end of every weekday. B. At the start of each shift, or after events that might affect stability. C. Immediately after reaching maximum depth and once a week after this. D. Only if there is spare time to do so. The correct answer is B. At the start of each shift, or after events that might affect stability. Question 25. Identify which of the following is best suited for accessing an excavation. Give one answer. A. A cherry picker. B. A harness and pulley. C. A secured ladder. D. A step ladder. The correct answer is C. A secured ladder. Question 26. What should you do if you are in a confined space when the gas alarm sounds? Give one answer. A. Carry on working but do not use electrical tools. B. Carry on working but take plenty of breaks in the fresh air. C. Get out of the confined space immediately. D. 
Switch off the alarm. The correct answer is C. Get out of the confined space immediately. Question 27. Which of these is the most accurate way to confirm the exact location of buried services? Give one answer. A. Architect drawings. B. Cable plans. C. Survey drawings. D. Trial holes. The correct answer is D. Trial holes. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test.